I am just planting up some pots today in my backyard. What do you think of this combination here? I think it'll be beautiful. And in these two pots here I got off of Amazon, they've got some drainage holes in the bottom. And I'm gonna get started. I just picked up this bag of potting mix. The last time I was at the nursery, it's just premium pro mix. I don't even know what brand it is, it doesn't say. It's just premium potting mix, pro mix. Ideal for potting and repotting plants in containers indoors and outdoors. So I'm gonna just fill up my containers with this today. Okay, so let's pot up this container together. The first thing, first of all, I'm gonna put both of these containers on my front porch, and they're going to be just kind of viewed from the front facing this way. Um, so I think I'm going to place my thrillers kind of towards the back, which my first thriller here is the Graceful Grasses. Curly Whirly by Proven Winners. And if you can take a look at that, curly kind of corkscrew growth on this plant. I think it's really, really fun looking. So let me tell you about this. Let me show you here. This is Proven Winners Curly Whirly. It takes fold apart sun and it's an annual and it gets 12 to 18 inches tall. It's an upright thriller, and I think it'll be perfect in this container. I love it. I love this kind of curly, whirly, crazy kind of habit. And I think it'll kind of, you know, extend throughout the container and really be, really be fun and interesting. Okay, I do have another thriller. It's the Rockin' Fuchsia by Proven Winners. You can see a picture of that. And I'll just show you what the, it hasn't, uh, you can see the little, the little blooms are starting to um, develop and shoot up there, but it's mostly green at this point but I think it will be beautiful as another thriller component of this um, container. And 
The Rock and Fuchsia is full two part sun. This one gets um, a lot taller than the Curly Whirly, which I think will be nice too, to have the two different heights going on for a thriller. It's 24 to 36 inches tall, and I don't think I mentioned this, but this is a salvia. This is Rockin' Fuchsia Salvia. Okay, we got a lot of roots going on here. I'm just going to kind of break that up a little bit. I might even snip it a little bit just to loosen things up. Sometimes I even like to pull all those off. I mean, it was kind of, this was kind of wrapped around a little tightly, so I don't mind pulling some of that off just to kind of loosen things up. And in my experience, it really, when I do this, it doesn't really negatively impact my plants, so I, I feel safe doing it. So here, I just kind of ripped all those tightly wound roots off and just plant this up as well. Right in the center of my combination, I am going to place some petunias. They're called banana cherry, and look at that bloom. Isn't it sweet? I don't know if I'm getting it in the camera there. It's like a cherry yellow, and it's called, like I said, headliner banana cherry petunia, full sun. And let's see what it says about how they, they perform. Blooms in spring and summer, gets 10 to 16 inches in height, full sun six or more hours a day. So that's the banana cherry petunia. Oh wow, there's a couple of slugs in here. I'll grab those right out. Okay. I'll get this planted up. I need a little bit more soil from this other basket. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. It is a beautiful day here. Okay, next up is Proven Winners Sweet Caroline Sweetheart Lime Potato Vine Fold Apart Sun. It gets six to 16 inches. Here, I'm gonna place this right here. And then right over here, I am gonna do a Dichondra Silver Falls. Proven Winners, Dichondra Silver Falls. Um, this gets two to six inches, and it is a trailer or a spiller. I find that though I planted this last year, it got a lot longer than two to six inches, but you can easily just trim it to your liking. So we'll go with that next.
and you always want to save your tags so that you can remember what you planted especially if there's a combination that you especially like you can look back on it i usually keep these with um just all of my gardening paperwork or i just recently bought a gardening journal that i'm starting to write in so i can even you know put them in my gardening journal as well so i always find it very helpful to keep your tag so i'm making kind of a mess here but we've got one one pot planted up and oops and one more to go okay so there's the first pot and then we'll do the second one so like i said i hope everybody's having a great day today today is monday it is i have to think about this because <clears throat> It has been busy in our household and I'm losing track of the days. It's June 2nd and we had a very busy weekend and last week was also quite busy. Um, all good things, but it's got me feeling pretty worn out today. We, um, we had lots of family things. Um, last week, my one of my sons, his name is Everett. He's a junior in high school. He plays baseball. He's played baseball for years as his older brother played baseball as well, but he is, oh, see, here we are with the salvia again, and it is completely, wow, those were really, really root bound. Um, this time I'm just gonna use my hori hori and just slice into that. I'm just surprised. I guess it just means it's been in this little container for a long time, but honestly, like, it's not that mature unless they snipped it at some point. So I'm just surprised that it would get this root bound. Oh, look at this little curly whirly trying to hang onto there. I love that curly whirly. It's such a fun, fun little element in your container. Oops, let me just grab this little piece of, there's a couple pieces of dead grass in there too. I'll have to get, okay. Anyways, um, so my son Everett, he had his playoff baseball week last week where they were playing for the um, chance to go to win the state championship. So this was the playoffs to see who, de to determine who would go um, to Queens, New York to play the state championship. Well. It was quite a game against their rival school and they were lagging behind the whole game and in the bottom of the seventh inning it was the score was eight to three and it was best two out of three games so we had won the first game um, on Wednesday and this was Thursday we were assuming we were gonna lose the second game which would mean we would have to play game number three on Friday. Well, it was bottom of the seventh inning and the score was eight to three. And their team made the biggest comeback I have ever seen. It was such a, it was, it was a wonderful baseball game. It was my son, my older son said it was the base, the best baseball game he had ever watched. So like I said, bottom of the seventh, the score is eight to three, not looking too positive that we would win that game. Well, every boy that got up to bat hit that ball and they hit that ball in just the right spot, um, in the gap, over the shortstop's head, right field gap, left field gap, every hit was just a winner and every player got on base. And before you know it, we had the score tied eight to eight and still no outs, bottom of the seventh, like I said. And the last guy who got up to bat, he hit it to right field and it was a walk off. And the excitement that exploded in that stadium and among those boys was just incredible. It was just, oh, such a moment and I was just so happy to witness it. You know, um, my son's played baseball since he's eight years old 
And so he's played with a lot of these kids since he's been that age. And to see them, just a big group of friends experience that all together was just amazing, just amazing. You know, the adrenaline was high, the energy was high. That was that was Wednesday and Thursday of last week. And then, so they have the opportunity to go to the States in New York City at St. John University in Queens, New York. And so we'll be, we'll be going with him as well. And we're excited for their team. I'm excited to watch, watch, watch Everett play. Um, he plays shortstop and He's a darn good shortstop and I'm extremely proud of him. I'm extremely proud of all my boys um, and especially proud. Oh, no, that doesn't look right, does it? What's going on here? I might have to flip, what is that? I might have to turn that around just a little bit here. I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. Hold up. just gonna this seems like a little funky piece here that's like coming out let's see I don't know. no that looks fine that looks fine there we go Anyways, I was just saying, I'm especially proud of the way that my, I'm, a, I'm proud of my son who loves playing baseball and has this wonderful opportunity. Um, and I'm just as proud of my other two sons, my older son and my younger son, who were so thrilled for him and they were so proud of him. And to see, you know, your children be happy for each other and to lift each other up and support each other and truly be happy for them that's a that's a mother's gift truly a mother's gift so that was something else that I had noticed um, throughout the course of you know those two days that were so intense and so celebratory and so exciting that um, you know Aiden and Tyler my other two sons they just they lifted him up they were just as happy for him and extremely proud so that was, it was just wonderful. So that was, um, it was Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday of last week. Okay, so here we go. Let me show you. I think they're looking very nice. And I'm gonna bring them to the front of the house. Here they are just on the front porch steps. And I think I like how everything is looking. Let's come down here and just take another look at the whole thing, pot it up. I just put my tags right here for right now. And everything will start to grow and get lush and just kind of blend together nicely. And this one here, the petunias are really blooming on this one. And I know that this sweetheart lime sweet potato vine sometimes that can overwhelm a container so i'll have to keep an eye on that and i can easily easily trim that down if it's giving me some trouble um but anyway i'm just going to water these in now
anyways, uh, just getting back to my busy weekend. Um, so that was Wednesday and Thursday of last week. And then Friday, I actually celebrated, went to a friend's 50th birthday celebration, a very dear friend of mine. And that was lots of fun. And then Saturday, we went out to celebrate my my niece's boyfriend's 21st birthday. We all went out, a big group of us, and celebrated Max, celebrated him, so that was fun. And then rolled right into um, a dance recital for my niece Ella on Sunday morning, followed by um, my son Tyler's track banquet. So Monday morning, which is this morning, has left me just kind of like, <laughs> but in a good way all good things, all wonderful blessings. Well, I know I am pretty sweaty here and I'm filthy dirty, <laughs> but I just wanted to come on and I just wanted to come on and thank you all for watching and thank you uh, for subscribing. I just want to let you all know that I appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos, commenting on my videos and, you know, interacting with me. I truly appreciate all of your support um, from the bottom of my heart. I know I gained a few new subscribers in the last few days, so I just want to uh, just give a shout out to everybody and say welcome and thank you. I wanted to um, mention that um, there's a fellow gardening YouTuber that I have been following who recently posted a video about an injury that she sustained last week and her name is Devin her channel her channel is called Devin Smedley and she lives in Maryland gardens in Maryland and I've been watching her channel for a little while and um, I think she's great I think her channel is great and she recently had an accident um, she posted a video about it so if you want to go over to her channel and you can I'll put her channel name up on the screen here. Um, you can check that out, but uh, she, she may be out of commission for a little while. And so I just want to offer up some prayers for you, Devin, and, you know, ask God to just watch over you and see you through this challenging time in your life. And I'm sure you'll see yourself through to the other side with your faith. Um, and I would just ask all my subscribers and anyone who is, you know, familiar with her channel, um, to, you know, also lift her up in prayer. And, you know, if you're not subscribed to her channel, go over and give her some love. I know that it's probably heartbreaking for her to maybe have to put the brakes on. Oops, my AirPod came out there. Um, but put the brakes on, you know, going full force with her videos. Um, so if we could all just, you know, give her, you know, um, YouTube hugs and, and support that way. Um, go on over to subscribe, go on over, give her a like or a watch to her videos. I know she would probably really appreciate that. I will see everybody in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.